What's up guys, how you doing today? Do you remember last week's video, five classic cocktails using grenadine? Link up here in case you don't. Well, I happen to have a little leftover of grenadine from last week, so I decided today I would create a cocktail of my own using it. So stick around, that's what we're doing today. Let's go. There are some very good ideas in here. All right guys, so welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me again. As I said in the intro, today we're making another cocktail with grenadine and I needed inspiration. And when I need inspiration, this book right here is pretty much my Bible. It is called L'Essentiel de Chartier, written by a man called Francois Chartier. He's a master sommelier. He's really good at what he does. And in this particular book, he extracted the flavor molecules of more than 300 ingredients. And by identifying these flavor molecules, he made the flavor pairing between them very easy. So I looked for Grenade in the book and there's three different pages referring to ingredients sharing the same flavor molecules and coriander seeds was one of them. So that gave me the idea for the base of the cocktail and also coriander seeds share the same molecule as juniper, so gin, pink grapefruit, lemongrass and cardamom and I happen to have a lemongrass and cardamom bitters in my bar. So I said let's give it a try with all these ingredients, never tried it before and let's see if this guy has it right. Let's go. All right, so as I said, I never tried a cocktail before. I only wrote down my ideas on paper because I thought it would be fun to test it on camera and see if the book is right. So we're gonna start with a small bar spoon of coriander seeds in the bottom of your shaker. Then we're gonna add two ounces of gin. I'm using Nikka Coffee Grain Gin here because it's a citrus forward gin. I think it's gonna go very well with the rest of the ingredients. Then we're gonna muddle gently the coriander seeds. Then we're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of our grenadine. Three quarters of an ounce of fresh grapefruit juice. As I always say, fresh is always better. If it comes in a plastic container, it is no good. Then we're gonna juice three quarters of an ounce of fresh wine juice. Then we're gonna add two dashes of lemongrass and cardamom bitters. We're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a very good shake. Then we're gonna fine strain it into a rocks glass. Then we're gonna add some crushed ice. If you have pebble ice, it's even better, but uh, crushed ice it works also perfectly. And then for the garnish, when I serve my cocktails on crushed ice, I like to do a little ice scoop using my juicer, like this. Just get rid of the big chunks. So that's why pebble ice works actually a little bit better because it's pretty uh, pretty even. Then you're just gonna push that crushed ice. It's gonna make a mold that you can put on top. Then place your straw in the back and we're gonna use that little mold Add some pomegranate seeds here and just a few coriander seeds. All right, guys, so this is it, the cocktail. I called it the LUD because I'm not sure if it's gonna work and that makes me laugh. And also because the French scientific name for the flavor molecule found in the coriander seeds that refer to the citrus taste that you get in them is called the linalol. So I thought it was a suitable name for the cocktail. And now let's give it a try. It is very citrus forward. It is true that you get a lot of citrus flavors in the coriander seeds, and that's the main flavor that you get. And it actually works really well with the gin. Mm. Especially because it's a citrus forward gin, I think 
it was a good idea and there's obviously grapefruit and uh and lime that enhance those citrus flavors gives a nice tartness to the cocktail that is balanced obviously with the house-made grenadine that also has a little bit of fruity and acidity kind of tartness to it so yeah i think it really works the flavors are working well together then the balance it's tries and errors it's maybe a little bit on the tart side maybe i could try with half an ounce of lime but i have a dry palate so it works for me but you find it a little too dry or a little too tart maybe just try with half an ounce of lime this is as i say tries and errors but in terms of flavors it works i have to say it's not the first time that i use this technique i've been using this book for a few years now and almost all the time when i try some flavor pairings based on this book it is working so that's it for me today guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already hit that like button and that bell if you want to be notified when i post a new cocktail video until then thank you very much for watching have a wonderful weekend and cheers it's almost done because it's good